There are two steps to configure connection pooling. Number one, we'll copy the driver jar file to Apache Tomcat's lib folder because Tomcat needs this driver to establish connections. Secondly, we'll configure a resource element in the context.xml. This tells Tomcat about the database connection string, the username, password, etc. So let's do the first step of copying the driver jar file. Go to Eclipse first. You can grab the driver jar from any of the projects. For example, JDBC basics. Copy this driver jar file from here. Control C. Go to your Apache Tomcat installation. Go to the lib folder and paste that jar here. So here there are many jars which Tomcat uses. Along with them, our MySQL connector jar should also be there. The next step is to define a resource element in Tomcat context.xml. So context.xml is under conf directory of Apache Tomcat here. So you can either define it here if you are using Tomcat externally or since we are using Tomcat from within Eclipse, go back to Eclipse, do control shift R and search for context.xml. Control shift R will open up this open resource window. Search for context.xml. Select this, click open, maximize, go all the way to the end and just before the end element, start typing in resource element. Resource allows us to configure a resource for our application. So inside the resource, we give it a name. We'll use this name later on in our servlet program. Let's call it my DS, my data source. Followed by authentication, AUTH is equal to container. Meaning we are asking the container to take care of the authentication. We are not going to do it programmatically. Type is Java X dot SQL dot data source. This is an interface that holds a group of connections or a pool of connections. So the container will create an implementation of this, an object of this type, and it will give us at runtime. Next attribute is driver class name. So we need to tell the Apache Tomcat the driver class name, which is com.mysql.jdbc.driver. So it will look for this particular class in the jar we have copied earlier. It will, find, it will try to find it in all the jars, but it will find it in the mysql connector jar. Now it knows about the driver. The next thing is the database URL or the connection string. URL is the attribute is equal to JDBC colon MySQL colon to forward slashes local host slash MyDB, which is the database name. Do I control shift F to format? Add another attribute, two more attributes, name, uh, the username to connect to the database which is root in my case, and finally the password, which is test. Close the element right there. So in this lecture, you have done two things. One copied the driver jar. Secondly, you have configured the resource. So when Tomcat starts up, it will look at this file and it will create a bunch of connections because we are asking it to do so using this element. We are giving it the connection string, the username and password for the database the driver class name, as well as the, the type of object it should create and return us. So Tomcat will create a pool of connections, put it in this class, an implementation of this class, and it will put it in a naming service. Internally, all the application servers have a naming service running. So it will put it inside that as a name value pair with this name. It will register it with this name. In our program, we will look up for this resource in the next lecture.